Hello YouTube, it's Kwan Kwan here. Um, this will be my first YouTube video. Um, I have a 1975 um, Rinkin, uh, 17 foot runabout, little ski boat. Uh, and we have a pre-alpha uh, outdrive on this. It's an inboard outboard. Um, and uh, I've got a couple of things that I'm gonna attempt to uh, do here today. This will be my first time uh, taking this uh, foot apart. Um, I'm an automotive mechanic and, and a quick heavy equipment mechanic. Uh, I'm a little unfamiliar with the marine uh, application, but uh, you know it's, it's it's not rocket science, so we'll fumble through it. Um, I have an overheating issue, and right here where the water goes in and is uh, uh, directed up by a lift pump that's uh, located in this housing here, uh, it pushes water up to the engine, and then the engine uses that water to uh, cool the engine. So. What we're going to do, and ooh, having a problem getting focused here. There we go. Um, what we're going to do is uh, remove this, and let's take a look at that pump. Uh, I've already ordered a, a pump, and uh, so it should be in any time now. But I'm going to verify um, verify that, the, that 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 is my primary problem. It's not getting water up there. Uh, I recently found out that these pumps are made out of uh, rubber. Basically, it's just a rubber impeller that uh, gets pushed down into a housing, which we'll, uh, we'll show you here in a little bit uh, as soon as I get it uh, apart. We'll see what kind of condition it's in. But uh, And they wear out. They dry rot and wear out. So I want to replace that water pump uh, for sure. Um, and even, you know, so since I have it this far apart. Uh, while I was attempting this uh, project. I've also got another little issue up in here. Apparently uh, my exhaust bellows is just completely uh, tore up. Uh, so I've got another one of those. I'm going to replace that. The uh, bellows for the shift cable appears to be okay. I won't know until I, I get, a, get a light up in there. And, uh, I've got an inspection scope that I'll probably use. Um, and the uh, bellow for the drive shaft that goes through there is in uh, pretty good condition. I think my father actually had that replaced some time ago. Uh, this has kind of been a joint project with um, my father and I for about 20 years. Uh, we've been playing with this and, and, and uh, obviously using it uh, also. Um, but this will be the first time I've attacked uh, anything on the outdrive. Uh, most of all the other issues have been with the engine, um, which I got a few uh, problems there that I have to address also. But uh, basically to remove this foot, um, you have a one, two, three, four, five, six uh seven bolts looks like seven bolts um, two bolts uh, are located up underneath uh, this 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 flat unit here above the impeller there's two bolts there there is a hex head bolt that uh, that you'll need to, to get uh, access through this hole here and it threads uh, into this little um, forgive me if I'm, I'm sure somebody will correct me uh, but the, this little uh, trim adjustment uh, piece where uh, it, it goes right up into there and then that, that, that hex head threads into it. Um, I've, there's a little extra. If you're familiar with pre-alpha uh, out drives, uh, this uh, thing here, is, this little tail fin or whatever was added on there. Um, shortly after we got the boat, my uh, uh, helped us pull in skiers. So this is this is added, so you won't see that on, on uh, every uh, pre-alpha, but it's, it's just exterior mounted. Uh, nothing special about that but uh, that's why it looks a little different in case you're wondering um, again like I said I, I think I have the, the pre-alpha uh, outdrive um, which uh, I've been told you can tell by the lines uh, grooves in the side here this little uh, hoop up here and uh, apparently where your uh, um, trim cylinders mount uh, on the uh, alpha or alpha one they mount a little further uh, down here whereas uh, you're out all the way out at the end on the uh, pre-alpha. So uh, that being uh, the case, that, that helped me uh, when I was ordering parts. Uh, we'll see, we'll make sure I got the right ones. And obviously anytime you order marine parts, it suddenly magically uh, extra zeros at the end of, uh, end of the price. Um, but we'll see, uh, see what the, this pump looks like. As soon as I get it off, I can't hold the camera and um, uh, remove the foot at the same time. I'm here by myself at my shop, so. Um, I am going to uh, shut this down for a minute and uh, pull all the rest of these nuts loose, remove the foot, and then we'll see what kind of condition that, uh, that water pump is in. All right, be back shortly. <laughs> 